Hey guys, what's up? Rider Kick here. As you can see, we got the Die You Should Plan That Out, so that means this week it's an episode for Vanguard. This week we're going to be looking at Nova Grapplers. We are now officially done for the time being with Dimension Police, so we're moving into the next closest thing, which is the Nova Grapplers. The Dimension Police, as we all know, have a sensa Sentai and Tokusatsu theme, while the Nova Grappler is known for, it's pretty much a free-for-all uh, battle, kind of like the WWE, with a more anime-themed uh, set clan using various real robots, super robots, and some other cliché anime characters. You can find some things like Chorus in this clan. Um, as I said before, Gundam's in this clan. There's even some tokusatsu themes, such as the Death Metal, uh, Death Metal Droid, and Space Sheriff Gavin, also known as their Perfect Guard, Twin Blader. The deck we're looking at this week is actually the deck that brought me into Vanguard itself. It is the Stern Blau Kruger deck, which is actually mobile suit based off the Mobile Suit Gundam franchise. So we're gonna go ahead and look at it. The first card we're gonna be looking at is, uh, Blau Jungler. It's the start of the ride chain. It's the grade zero. See if I can't give you guys a better shot of that. Sorry about the foiling. Uh, we naturally run, we run one of those. Since this is the start of the ride chain, when the grade one rides over the grade, uh, grade zero, the grade, uh, you get the chance to search your deck for the grade two. That out of the way, we'll start right into triggers. Now, my trigger lineup is eight criticals and four draws and four heals. Like with some of the new sets, I actually made it completely robotic, uh, save for Shining Lady and Red Lightning, but we'll get right into that. So the first is we're running, sorry about that, two Shining Ladies, two Battleship Prometheuses because it's the SDF one, and I do love me some Macross. Secondly, for those are the first four critical triggers. Next, we run four Red Lightning. Red Lightning is actually very good because he is our effect critical trigger. He has the ability to, if you have to play him, put him in your soul and unflip one damage. That doesn't seem like a whole lot right now, but in the late game, if you have the opportunity to trigger the Grade 3 uh, Kluger, uh, it counterblasts. This is not a very counterblast heavy deck. You only have, I believe, Magical Girl Kirara and Sturmblau Kruger as your only uh, counter blasts. So you will have multiple opportunities to un uh, unflip those damages using Red Lightning skill. Next up, we have our four draw triggers. We have four of the Gong, whose vanilla is just draw trigger. And to round out the triggers, we have four Wall Boys. Um, critical triggers, you can run 12 critical triggers, that's not completely unheard of, especially in a Kluger deck, that may actually be more preferable to some people, I like to have uh, the ability to draw, um, considering my only real draw engine outside of drive checking is Kirara, and I only really use her to call bluffs, to see if they'll actually let me swing, or really there to get them to waste guard, to keep me from getting a card. Um, most of me, my counter blast, my other primary trigger engine is stern. But uh, enough of that. We'll go into the gray ones now. We run, of course, since this is a ride chain, we get uh, the first part of the ride chain, which is Blau Panzer. Uh, while you have Jungler, the grade zero in the uh, soul. He becomes 8,000, and if when you ride when you ride him on Jungler, you get to search for the Grade 2. When you call him, you can discard a Grade 3 from your hand and go get uh, the Grade 3. So we run four of him. We run four Dancing Wolf. Dancing Wolf is pretty much in this deck for purposes of using Stern's ability. Uh, to stand this entire column, that makes him the only 10k, uh, the 10k booster for the deck. Uh, no grapplers in this game thus far really don't have a good 10k booster. I mean, Dancing Wolf is really about as good as it gets. 
Um, that's offset with the fact that a very large amount of the Novagrap were uh, boosters or 7Ks and, of course, the generic vanilla 10K, 8K Tough Boy. But uh, we still do not have a real proficient 10K booster, which is something I hope they give us in the near future. Um, but right now, the best we got is Dancing Wolf. We run four of those. Uh, we run four Tough Boy at the moment, which is one of them stuck to mine, Dancing Wolf. There we go. Run four Tough Boy. Uh, Tough Boy is our vanilla 8K. Um, really not too much to talk about him. Like I said, he's a vanilla 8K booster. We run four of him. And we run three Scream and Dance and Announcer Shouts. Because he's a 7K booster, as I just stated before, which Nova Grappers have a plethora of. He also is can just sit in the back row, and you can tap him to drop a card and draw a card. He's not bad. Um, I will say I do not have perfect guards in this deck, so this deck is not totally complete by competitive standards. Um, Twin Blader is one of the hardest to get and most expensive perfect guards on the market right now, because it came out in set two, and I believe it actually had not a well-run print run. Uh, that is soon to be rectified, however, with the release of Phantom Blaster, or Infinite Phantom Legion. You'll have to excuse me if the name says wrong. The Nova Grappler standalone expansion coming out in September, which will have, I believe, the gold, go, uh, gold shields for, uh, Nova Grappler. I do hope that's the case. If not, I apologize for misinforming, but Twin Bladers will be in that set in September. Um, I would probably be taking out Tough Boy, since this is the Ride Chain deck, and Dancing Wolf is needed. Uh, Shout, I could drop those for Shout and go down to three Dancing Boys uh, for Twin Blader as well. I would prefer to keep the Shouts in, because it gives me draw. Now we're on to the Grade 2s. Grade twos are, of course, the next step in the ride chain, the Blau Kruger, which, if he has uh, Blau Panzer in the soul, he gets 10k, he becomes a 10k unit, and when he attacks the Vanguard, I can choose a card in my damage zone and I'll flip it, he helps fuel Kirata, um, he also... Um, can't, he can't fuel Stern if he's a rear guard because unfortunately those are both Vanguard only abilities. Um, not too much to say here. He's just the grade two. Um, we run over to the next set, which we run on four King of Swords, which is our vanilla 10k. Not too much to say about them. They're 10, vanilla 10ks. We run four of them just for damage reasons. We run two Magical Girl Kirata who is our final grade 2. Uh, if she manages to swing and hit, you can counter blast 2 and draw a card. Uh, that's a really good skill. It lets you draw a card and it forces cards out of your opponent's hand to keep that from happening. Uh, finally, we move into our grade 3s. Uh, this actually took me some deciding. I have bounced back and forth on various alternate grade 3s. Uh, right now, I'm working settling with Miss Splendor. Splendor is a 10k grade 3, we run 4 of her. She is, when she, this unit attacks, your opponents cannot intercept until the end of that battle. I do like this ability better than the other ones. I will probably test Hollow Nomad uh, in her place, but not being able to guard when she swings, whether she's on a rear guard or the vanguard circle, is really good. So, and plus it forces more cards out of the opponent's hand. That's really good. That's why I'm running four of hers, the alternate. And finally, for the last of the Gundams, we run the four Stern Blau Klugers. Uh, Stern is, of course, has the ability if Blau Kluger, grade two is in the soul, he becomes an 11k. That equals you to most of the cross rides for now. Should they not actually cross ride, they have to play it on turn three. Uh, he has the ability of, when he hits, you can discard two cards and counterblast two. You stand stern and the 
uh, whoever is behind him, preferably Dancing Wolf, and he can swing again at the cost of his twin drive. So, which is very easy to do because you're drawing three for the turn essentially on the first hit because you're drawing one for turn, you're drawing two for uh, drive check. If he does hit, you discard the two cards from your hand that you probably drive checked, may they be triggers or not, and then you get to swing in for another two. Um, generally, they're going to guard this at all costs because it's just devastating. In decks that run 12 critical triggers, you're going to be ga having criticals like you wouldn't believe. In my deck, it's still highly possible to check a critical trigger. Uh, and having that passive two or possibly three damage swinging at them constantly, it's going to make them want to make them deplete their hands. So that's pretty much the stern deck. I am running, in terms of ratios, I'm running eight threes. I am running ten uh, twos. I'm running fifteen uh, grade ones. And I'm running seventeen grade zeros, as usual. Uh, again, this is a, right now, not considered competitive because I do not have perfect guards. I really do hope to just, uh, to rectify that situation come September. And we will be back next week, in two weeks for our next Vanguard look as we sit down and look at the newly constructed Beast Deity decks which t are representative of the four Guardian Beasts of Japan. So take care. Please remember to hit up the blog for any other future Vanguard and UFS posts. And we'll see you next time on Total Justice Gaming's and Henshin Justice Gaming's Let's Build a Deck. Hey guys, Ryder Kick here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching. Please leave all comments and criticisms in the comment section below. Your feedback helps me make this little show better. Also, please remember to go to my blog, totaljusticegaming.blogspot.com, and also hit the Facebook page. Uh, like it and let me know that what you guys think. Uh, also, the Facebook page is a place to go where uh, you guys can keep an update with the website. Website's going to be updated as much as I possibly can, about once a week. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next Total Justice Gaming Let's Build a Deck.